I'd like to close with a story about a naturalist who was walking by a farm one day when he noticed a very large eagle in the chicken coop amongst the chickens. He went and told the farmer about it, but the farmer didn't know what he was talking about. He took the farmer over to the chicken coop, took the eagle out of the chicken coop, and put it up on a fence post. He pointed its head towards the sun and whispered in its ear, you are an eagle, fly. The eagle looked around the barnyard over at the chicken coop and the chickens in the chicken coop, and he hopped down off the fence post and back into the chicken coop. The farmer said, you see, I told you those were all chickens. The naturalist was more determined than ever to prove to the farmer that that was an eagle. And he took the eagle out of the chicken coop once again and took it up on top of the barn. And he put it out on the weather vane and he pointed its head towards the sun and he whispered in its ear, you are an eagle, fly. The eagle once again looked around at the barnyard, over at the chicken coop and the chickens in the chicken coop and he hopped down off the barn back into the chicken coop. The farmer just shook his head and walked away. Very early the next morning, more determined than ever to prove to the farmer that he was wrong, the naturalist showed up and got the farmer out of bed. They took the eagle out of the chicken coop and they drove up into the mountains, as far from the farm as they could get. They walked out on a ledge and held the eagle up, pointed its head towards the sun and whispered in its ear, you are an eagle, fly. The eagle looked around him as he had before, down at the fields and the streams and the valleys and the mountains. He couldn't see the chicken coop anymore and he couldn't see the chickens. And he spread his wings and he flew off into the sunset never to be seen again. The naturalist turned to the farmer and he said, that sir is an eagle. I'm one who believes that God has instilled within each of us the spirit of an eagle, a spirit that wants to be free, a spirit that wants to control its own destiny. But we're too often afraid to leave the security of the chicken coop. We believe that somehow a nine to five job leads to financial security. We're afraid that if we try something new, if we get outside our comfort zone and have to face the lions and the wolves and the dream stealers of the world, that we might not survive when really all we have to do is spread our wings and fly. This whole thing may sound a little uncomfortable to you. Changing your life always is. But greatness was never achieved comfortably. Fruit doesn't grow on the trunk of a tree. You have to be willing to stretch, maybe even to climb out on a limb. Dr. Price Pritchett in his book, U Squared, says that in order to make the quantum leap out of the chicken coop, you must get uncomfortable and move on the dream. You must leave the cover, the safety that goes with merely wishing for something. You must ignore conventional methods. Remember those boomers? They're all fighting for a few middle and upper management positions in corporate America. The odds are stacked against you. If you decide to join us, don't feel like you're on your own. You're part of a team. That's something I know a little bit about. You can't do it on your own. There are people anxiously waiting to help you. I want to encourage you to get with the person who gave you this video and get all the facts. We've just barely scratched the surface. I want to repeat something I said earlier. Never before has a network marketing company come to the table with such a powerful package. The tools are in place. All you have to add is the spirit of an eagle.